In this video, we look into pipe and file cards. So let us create a table test with the fields ID, which is a integer data type, and first name where care of 50. Execute it and let me drag this down. Right click tables, brush. And we have this test table it has got the columns id int first name where care of 50. now let us insert some values into it insert into test values id is one and first name is james and similarly we are going to insert two jane three janet Four gamut. I just uh, taken these names just to show how this uh, wildcat characters work. Uh, and five is uh, Jalet. So if you see this, we have NET here, we have EMET here, and we have ELET here. After J. And after J we have NE and uh, MGS. So just uh, remember this pattern and we'll show why those are important. Execute. Now let us check the records in the table. Select start from test. We have James, Jane, Janet, Jamet, Janet. And now let us see the underscore underscore file character takes one character so here we want to know the first name j a underscore g so after j a we will take one one character and followed by just e one character so j a after j a there is one character here m and here n so that satisfies this j a underscore m but after that it should end with e so it will jane is ending with g but uh, james is uh, after e there is an s so this satisfies this underscore satisfies gain let us execute the select star from sql test where first name like j a underscore e gain so that's how underscore character can be used to extract the required records now what is the percentage wildcat character can take any number of characters underscore is taking only one character but percentage can take any number of characters so if I want to know where first name like j a percentage after j a there can be any number of characters so if you see our uh, database records after j a all these or beginning with j a and percentage says you can have any number of characters after j a so if i execute this we select the whole thing okay this so james jane janet Jamet, jam it has retrieved all the records because after j a any number of characters can be followed and if i say after j a n the percentage now if i execute this see after j a n jn and janet so that's how percentage wildcat character can be used now the square bracket this can be used 
to say if I want to have m or n, then I can give it m in uh, square brackets. So after j a, there can be m or there can be n. So if I select this and execute it, so after j a, there can be n, the Janet. After j a, there can be m, the Janet. And then et will be followed by that uh, mrn so that's how you can use the uh, square brackets now this tilde so if i say tilde mn so don't include either m or n after j so except this janet and Janet, rest of the things will show up so if I say select star from SQL basics or DVO or test with first name like J A tilde M and E T, it's showing J A L E T. So after J A, don't include M or N. After that, um, after that E T should follow that. So after J A. Where is ET following in these three cases? But after JA, don't include NRM. So don't take JA NET or JA MET. So just take JA LET. So this satisfies all the conditions for this. So JALET satisfies. Uh, all the conditions for j a tilde m and e t now let us see what does hyphen denote hyphen denotes a range so here saying first name like j a l hyphen n e t so after j a there can be l m n after so L to N, it basically means L to N. So what are the characters that are there between L and N? L, M, N. So L, M, N can be there after J, A and then followed by E, T. So now if we execute this, Janet, Jamet, Janet. So L, M, N are there and then followed by E, T. In the first case they are James and Jane so they don't show now let us drop this table skill basic db order test now let us look at example so underscore the should be the first digit that means if it is underscore that you can enter any number there and the second digit should be between two and three that's why we are given it in pair brackets and the third digit should be not between and not two or not three i mean it shouldn't either be two or either be three and the fourth number should be between six and eight that means it can be between it, it can be six and seven or eight and uh, after that there can be any number of numbers so let us um, see we can create this example now so create table sql basics dot dot test i'm taking a num as integer and null drag this down right click tables fresh test so this is created now there are no records in that now we enter some records into this 
So insert into SQL basics dot dbo dot test values this one. So here the first number can be any number. So just we can enter any number here, and the second digit should be bit either two or three. So I entered two here, and the third digit should be should not be two or three. So I entered four here, and the fourth digit should be between six and eight. So I entered six. After that, in the end there are I have entered three digits seven eight nine. The second case, the so first digit can be anything, so I entered five, and the uh, second digit should be between either two or three, so I entered three, and the third digit shouldn't be two or three, so nine is fine, and then uh, the fourth digit should be between six or uh, and eight, so I entered seven. Out of that, I entered just two digits, so fine. So these two conditions match this pattern which we require and the third one first number can be any digit so I entered 8 second number between should be either 2 or 3 so I entered 2 and third digit should be not be 2 or 3 so I entered uh, 6 and uh, Fourth digit uh, should be between six and eight, six or seven or eight. So, but I entered nine. So this is not following that pattern. After that, there can be any number of numbers. I entered one. So this nine is not fitting into this pattern. And the last one, first num digit can be anything, and second digit should be between either two or three. So I entered one. So this is not following that pattern either. So these two are not following the pattern, and first two are following the pattern. So if I insert these records into the table, okay. Now I select star from a scale basics dot db order test. Okay. So these are the four numbers that we have inserted and now we say select star from SQL basics or db order test where num like underscore 23 so this is the pattern which we have checked here so I am checking that pattern whether num will fulfill this pattern or not. So if I execute this, so it has retrieved the first number 1246789 and the second number 539745. And these two didn't satisfy this pattern just as we have seen. Uh, a while ago so it has retrieved only the first two records so that's how you can use these wildcat characters to find out the, the numbers that are required if you like the video please subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button for notifications on upcoming videos please click on the bell icon